Hi everybody, I'm Missy Mani from the Boys and Girls Club of Greater St. Louis. Today I'll be talking to you about positive action. Um, positive action covers a wide variety of topics, including things like how to deal with situations you may not um, have been in before or you may not know how to deal with it. Uh, it also teaches you ways to be better friends, to stay healthy, tips for getting better sleep at night. And so before we get started, we're gonna do a couple warm up exercises um, just to get us all ready to learn and get us all started. Exercise, warm up exercise that we're gonna do. We're just gonna breathe deeply, do a couple deep breaths. We're gonna do it five times. And so all you do is hold your hands out to the side, your arms out to the side. And when you breathe in, your arms go up, and then when you exhale, your arms go down to your side. And then you bring back up, and then we start again. So we're gonna do that five times. Breathe in, and exhale to the side. Breathe in. Exhale to the side. That's two. Breathe in. And exhale to the side. That's three. Breathe in. Last one. Breathe in. Good job, everybody. We just did that just to get started. Our next warm up exercise will be jumping jacks. We're going to do 15 and then we're going to march in place. One, two, three, four, five, six. That was 15, and then we're gonna um, march in place. Or you can march in a circle, you march up and down. You can act like you're going up and down stairs. <laughs> Whatever you wanna do, we're just warming up so we can get ready to learn. Positive action is all about thinking of ways you or someone you know, anyone around you, thinking of ways to make a situation better, whether it's a good situation or bad situation, we have to be able to cope. So for example, let's say you um, are at home, you live with mom and dad, you have a sister. Your sister's birthday was in December and she got to have this wonderful, beautiful uh, Alice in Wonderland themed party. Um, it was just the best party you could think of. There was, you know, snow all over. There was, you know, it just toys. There was games. There was good food. Everything you could think of. And so now your birthday is coming up or it's past, let's say you had a birthday in May and we are uh, being quarantined, we have to stay at home. So that example, we're just gonna break it down. So you may think that you're on the negative side of things, you may think your parent um, likes your sister a little more. You may think your parents, um, your sister was doing a better job. She's better at her chores. She's better with school. She has better friends, um, more friends than you. Those are all negatives that you could think of because you're thinking, why did she get to have a party and I don't? And so on the positive side, you can look at it like, um, not only are you being quarantined, everyone in the world is being quarantined. So it's not about your parents not loving you enough or more or as much as your sister. It's not about your parents not caring, not planning your party. You have to find ways to positively think 
on that situation. So you could still have a great party at home. For example, um, I've seen a lot, and I'm sure you guys have too, um, when people have birthdays during this quarantine, um, sometimes people do uh, like parades past their homes. So you can sit on your yard, you can call people over and they can drive past your house, drop off gifts. They can, you can still see your friends, um, but just at a safe distance. And so you can still get the birthday party. You can still, because you're having a good time, you can, the uh, one good um, thing is you won't have to clean up a whole lot because people are not actually coming in. They're outside. So, um, you know, as a child, your parent may need you to help and at least you don't have to, you know, do that. That's a positive to think. Also, you could also look at it um, like you still get the presents, you still get the party experience, you still get to be with your family and friends. Um, you can still get to eat whatever you want. Um, you can still have a birthday cake. You can, you can make a cake that would be more fun. You can decorate it any way um, you like to. But you just have to always think of different ways to look at a situation. So when you think about it, although your sister had the Alice in Wonderland party and she got gifts, she had cake, ice cream, she had all the decorations, you can still decorate your own lawn, you still get the gifts, you get to see everybody drive past you and wave, they drop off gifts, they um, tell you happy birthday, and that, that makes you feel special because they're just parading around your neighborhood and it's all about you. So, that example is just to um, show us that there are always ways that we can ourselves think positively about any situation any situation going on Now we're going to do an activity. This activity is called Let Your Talent Skate You to a Good Self-Concept. And just a reminder, self-concept is how we think or how we feel about ourselves. Hence the word self and self-concept. <laughs> okay, moving on. I'm gonna read through the activity. There's three questions. And then I'm gonna give my examples. I'll fill in the blanks and then you would do the same. So the first one is, my name is blank, and the special abilities, talents, and characteristics that I see in myself are blank. The second one is, my family thinks I do well at or have special talent for blank. And then the final one is, here is my plan for building and strengthening a talent, skill, or quality that I have and then you would list that. So I'm gonna go ahead and give my examples, fill in the blanks for myself. So my name is Miss Imani, and the special abilities, talents, and characteristics I see in myself are intelligence, beauty, I am ambitious, um, I am very driven when I care about a subject, I am passionate, I am empathetic, um, those are just a few. So the second one is my family thinks I do well at or have a special talent for makeup. Um, I apply makeup on myself. I also apply makeup on um, other people sometimes and my family and my friends think I do very well at that. Um, uh, also, another one is cooking. I can really cook. I cook very well. My food is great. Okay, moving on. <laughs> um, and then the last one, here is a plan for building and strengthening a talent, skill, or quality that I have. Um, 
For that one, I choose motherhood. I am a mother and I want to, I always want to do better. At be, I want to be better at being a mother. I'm learning. Um, I want to learn more. I want to do more. Um, and so during this quarantine, I am taking advantage of that. I can spend all the time in the world with my son. Um, I want to, I want to teach him more things. I want to introduce him to different games, different um, learning aspects. Um, he's learning very well. So I think as far as that, we're doing a good job. We're making good progress. Um, and so that's that's my example for the let your talents get you to a good self-concept um, activity. So now it's your turn. Now we're going to do some cool down exercises um, just to get us out of here. Um, I thank you all for joining me, for participating with me, for listening. Um, my name is Missy Mani. I work for Boys and Girls Club of Greater St. Louis. And I thank you all for tuning in. So I'm going to get started on the exercises. We'll play some soft music and then we're done. Um, so the first one, you just stand with your feet apart. Hold your arms out, and we're just gonna do some arm circles. We're gonna do small ones, big ones, and then we're gonna go forwards and backwards. So we're doing 10 um, each each uh, direction. So we're doing small, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we do big ones. That was forward, we'll also do big ones forward. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now we're gonna do the same exact thing. We're just gonna go backwards. So we'll do the small backwards. We're doing 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now we're gonna do the big ones backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Um, now we're just gonna do some arm stretching. So you hold this arm out. You just stretch like this for about 10 seconds. You wanna switch? And then um, you reach this arm back, like you're touching your back. This arm touches your, grabs your elbow, and you just hold that for 10. Now we do the same exact thing on the other side. Now we're just gonna do um, some stretches down to our legs and then we're done. So to the right side, you're gonna hold it um, for 20 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. You stretch it out, run in place, move it out, whatever you need to do. And then we're gonna go to the left side. So feet apart and you reach down to your left um, foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, and everybody did a great job. Again, I'm Miss Imani um, with the Boys and Girls Club of Greater St. Louis. I appreciate you all for tuning in and learning with me about positive action. And I hope you guys stay safe during this quarantine. I also hope to see you guys very soon. Um, and just stay safe, be safe. See you guys later. Thank you.